buenos dias. My name is Megan Blake. I'm a Spanish teacher in Northwestern Pennsylvania. So far uh, in looking at Canvas, we have covered how to create a home page and set it as your home page, how to create other pages and link them into your home page. And today I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can create an assignment or a quiz or both. So Underneath classroom commands, I went ahead and have created some pages that are linked onto my home page, which I can access either via clicking home or clicking pages. But whenever my students come to my course in their Canvas, this is the first page they're going to see. If I have any important announcements, sometimes what I'll do is I'll edit the page, post it right at the top, and then save it so that that's the first thing they see when they log into my course. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but you know, you give them a shot. So I'm going to go ahead and click on lesson one classroom commands. So I had previously put a little bit of instruction here with classroom commands, watch the video on classroom commands, then take the linked quiz to test your skills. So what I'm going to do is I would insert a video there and there will be another video talking about how to create those within Canvas or outside of Canvas. But at the very least, I can go ahead and create the quiz. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here to quizzes. I can click that. And then I can search for a quiz that I've created or I can make one. I actually started one before, and so that's going to be the unnamed quiz. I'm going to go ahead and continue with that one. So I'm going to edit it. And it doesn't have a name. It doesn't have anything else in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it Classroom Commands and tell them choose the English word that most closely matches the meaning of the Spanish word provided. All right, so uh, it is not going to be a graded quiz. I'm going to call it an ungraded survey. Uh, I'm going to call it a practice quiz. I'm not going to put a time limit on it, though if you want to, you can. Um, I'm going to allow multiple attempts. Um, I'm not going to put a limit on the attempts. They can do it however many times they want. Let students see their quiz response. Uh, incorrect questions will be marked in student feedback. Sure. Um, and let them see the correct answers. This is just for practice. Uh, this is for my intro to Spanish class. These are seventh graders who are kind of testing out the language. So. And because we're doing the enrichment and review stuff right now, this is all new for them. So it's all going to be just, we're trying. Um, show one question at a time. If you want to do that, you can. I'm going to do that just so they don't get freaked out by seeing the whole list and they're staying on topic. Um, you can lock the questions after answering if you don't want them to backtrack. Require an access code requires you to get a code out to them. I'm not going to require them to do that. Filter IP addresses. I'm not going to do that either. Assign to everyone. So you can assign it to specific students or you can assign it to everyone. Uh, I'm going to put the due date as being the end of the month. And then I'll have it available from now until that date. You can really set the available from unavailable till whenever you want to. I tend to set the available till at the end of the quarter. Um, just so if a student comes back and says, wait, could I complete that assignment that I didn't do? If I'm feeling nice and generous, I don't have to go in and reopen it. I can just tell them it is open. You can complete it whenever you would like. And if I'm feeling generous, then you might get credit for it. So right now that's a little bit out the window. All right, so I can go ahead and down here, I can either click save or save and publish, or if I'm gonna continue creating the quiz first, I'm gonna go ahead and click across to questions. Now, I can create these questions. I can do a new question. And this is going to be my question number one. And I will type the question down here. I can make it any kind of question I want to. I've got multiple choice, true, false, fill in the blank, fill in multiple blanks, multiple answers, multiple drop downs, matching, numerical answer, formula question, essay question, file upload, or text, no question. I'm going to make these multiple choice. So I will put my first word that I'm going to put on here is going to be corre. Now corre means run in Spanish. So down here with our answers, I'm going to put run as a command. And then incorrect answers that I'll have as an option are walk, sit down, 
and Yao. I've got four possible answers. I can either click update question or I can click new question. As long as I'm adding more questions, I don't have to click update question. I can click new question and it'll automatically save it. However, if it's my last question, I do have to click update question because otherwise it will not save the last thing you typed. Clicking the new question automatically saves the last one. So my second word is going to be camina, which means walk in Spanish. So I'm going to do walk. And I'll give wrong answers as run, and I'm going to use the same ones that I used before. Sit down and yell. All right, new question. We'll do one more. I will go ahead and do grita, which means yell or shout. Oh, sorry, this should be the numbers. So that's the third question. Grita is yell or shout. So I'm going to put that next to correct answer is yell. And then I'll put run walk and sit down. All right, so I'm gonna click update question because I'm not putting another one after that for right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and click save. I'm not publishing it yet because I'm not ready for students to see it yet. So the quiz is unpublished, only I can see it right now and that's okay. So I wanna add this quiz underneath my first page. So I'm gonna click on pages. And I can either click view all pages or I can just click the link to lesson one classroom commands. Now, I can click edit. And I'm gonna do the same thing here as I did before with linking the page into the home page. I'm gonna type in take quiz here. I'm going to highlight that. Click on the link button, course links. And then instead of pages, now I'm gonna to go to quizzes. And it is the classroom commands quiz. Once I click it, it's gonna highlight. And then I just have to click save. Now when my students come to this page, there will be a video here before, and then they can click take quiz here. Now, they are not able to see this yet. They can click that link, but it'll take them to an error page. Uh, they are not able to access it yet. I have to publish the quiz before they can see it but I'm not ready to publish it yet. I can click preview, and it's gonna show me what it will look like to them once they come to take it. So question one has corre, run, walk, sit down, or yell. I can actually practice take this quiz. Question two, camina, walk, run, sit down, or yell. There is an option somewhere in the setup that lets you shuffle the answers or shuffle the questions. This is not the case for these ones though. So, uh, it should be shuffling them and it's not right now for my preview. It might just be because it's my preview. But if you notice that all the right answers were the first one, then that's cool. All right, so, but it lets you see that, it lets you have um, kind of insight into how that all went. It shows me which ones I had right. You can set point values for each of your questions as well. That is somewhere in the quiz. All right, so that is how you add a, create a quiz and add it to your page. So now if I go to pages, here's my home page, click lesson one, that quiz is linked here and my instructions are there. Now if I wanted to create an assignment, just a regular assignment, they can put in a text, they type something in. Um, for let's example, let's do it for La Familia. So lesson three is La Familia. And let's say I want to add an assignment where they tell me about their familia. So I'm actually going to, before I come to the lesson, I'm going to go ahead and create the assignment. I'm going to click assignments and I'm going to click plus assignment. All right. So I'm going to call it La Familia Tuya, your family. So I'm going to ask them promo S, and that is not an upside down question mark. Como es la familia tuya? What is your family like? Um, and then I'm just going to ask them to give a brief 
description of your family in the text box. Feel free to include any extended family or step family as well as any pets you consider family. So this would just be an activity where I just want to know about their family. I just want to hear a little bit about them. Um, and this will also help me once they complete this to gauge about what vocabulary might be necessary for them. So if they do have a large number of step siblings or step parents, that means that we're probably going to work the phrase madrastra or padrastro. Um, we might do hermanestra, but like I like to tell my students that it is very, very common just to go ahead and call a step sibling your brother in English. So if you call him your brother in English, call him your brother in Spanish. All right, so here we go. Um, the points, once again, I, you have to have a point value for them to be able to uh, turn in an assignment on Canvas, which is something that's not great as opposed to Google Classroom, but you can just set the points at zero and it doesn't matter if you put it as points or whatever, uh, it just has to be some kind of numerical value there, even if it's zero. And the submission type. Online is what I'm going to do for this. It's gonna be a text entry. So that means that when they click into the assignment, they can click to submit the assignment. It's gonna pull up a text box for them to be able to type into. Uh, this is not a group assignment, but you can set group assignments in Canvas. Uh, you do not have to reply or peer review if you do not want to. I currently do not want to. I'm assigning this to everyone. I'm going to make it due April 30th. It's going to be available from today until April 30th. And then I will go over here and I'm going to click Save and Publish. All right. So now I have this assignment, La Familia Tuya. This says, Como es la familia tuya? What is your family like? Give a brief description of your family in the text box. Feel free to include any extended family or step family. I need to double check that and fix that because there's two Fs, see? This is why we proofread. All right, so feel free. Any extended family or step family, as well as any pets you consider family. All right, and I will resave that. So when they come to this, there will be a red button here that click, says submit. They will click that and then the text box will show up. Once they submit it, it'll give a notification to you on your dashboard that someone has submitted an assignment and you can utilize the speed grader to click through things and be able to give feedback on their, um, on their writing. So you can even just tell them, oh, that's cool. Or I have three brothers too. So that assignment has been created. Now to add it into the page. I'm going to click back on pages. I'm going to go to the page I want it on. So lesson three, La Familia. And then I'm going to click edit. And I'm going to, instead of typing something, I'm just going to go ahead and click the link course links. I'm going to find assignments and I'm going to click La Familia Tuya and it's going to call it that. So perfect. So the link is there. If I want to give explanation about the link, I can. For right now, I'm not going to fill anything else in. I could even just have a list of assignments here that they can go through if you've given them the instruction before. Um, or if I want to, I can just tell them to complete all linked assignments below. So complete all linked assignments. Below. Okay. And that gives them just a little bit more direction. All right. So that is how you create a quiz and create an assignment within Canvas.